Hoarding is more common than you might think. As well as the hoarder, those closest to them suffer as a result of their behavior. Hoarders frequently deny or refuse to acknowledge that they have a problem. A person's possessions can easily take over their lives if they refuse to acknowledge this. The issues with tidiness and orderliness become immediately apparent. However, the effects of hoarding go far beyond tidiness and order. Hoarding behavior has many other negative consequences. Below is a list of 10 consequences of hoarding that are rarely discussed. Number 10. The habit of hoarding frequently causes monetary issues. Hoarders can become trapped in their own homes in extreme cases. This occurs because people persist in stacking items excessively high as junk accumulates in a given area. The inhabitants are forced to make do with ever smaller quarters as the clutter presses inward. Hoarding of this nature typically lacks any semblance of order. If you think it's hard to find your keys, try searching a hoarder's home for a specific object. Hoarders often have a startling inability to keep track of their possessions, and as a result, they may misplace vital paperwork, credit cards, bills, social security numbers, important mail, tax documents, and even paychecks can all fall into this category. Some mail may go unopened, resulting in overdue bills and other complications. Overspending on the hoard itself may have contributed to financial difficulties. Number 9. The compulsive need to hoard things can lead to weight gain. Hoarders are more likely to gain weight than the general population, and this is due to a number of factors. The first is purely pragmatic. Hoarders' desire to keep everything they own causes their homes to shrink or become less livable. Hoarders are more likely to spend their time sitting or lying low because they have less room to move around. The more people hoard, the less room there is. These modifications increase the probability of weight gain and obesity. Second, there is a psychological link between being overweight and hoarding. Hoarding is often linked with obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. Number 8. Possible signs of trauma include hoarding. The tendency to hoard often has its roots in early development. Hoarding typically stems from one of two core issues. Injury is the primary cause. Hoarding is significantly more prevalent among people who have experienced abuse or other forms of instability in childhood or even later in life. Being raised by a hoarder is a second root cause. Habits are passed down from generation to generation. Many hoarders adopt the behavior they observed in their parents or other relatives with whom they lived. Number 7. Possible associations between hoarding and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Several mental illnesses have been linked to hoarding, as mentioned above. People with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder often suffer from compulsive hoarding or ADHD. People often suffer from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity are the hallmark behaviors of those with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. When present, these three conditions can amplify the impulse to hoard and exacerbate the subsequent negative outcomes. People who have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder also struggle with setting priorities. Therefore, it's not hard to see how ADHD can exacerbate hoarding tendencies. Number 6. Tension and melancholy can result from hoarding. Letting go of a burden is often a relieving experience. It could be a grudge from years ago or an outgrown sweatshirt. But this is the complete opposite of the way a hoarder thinks. Hoarders, on the other hand, are fixated on holding on to their stuff in the vain hope that it will make them happy. It's easy to let these concerns about space, tidiness, etc. pile on top of your already heavy stress load. Hoarders have a higher stress level than average because they have a more difficult time relaxing in a cluttered home. As an additional negative effect, hoarding can cut people off from their social circles. After all, Hoarders might feel too ashamed to host guests. They might even refuse to leave the house if things get bad enough. Number 5. Problems with the law may arise from hoarding. Hoarders often have serious issues with home organization. 
which they may or may not recognize. Important records must be kept. It's already challenging enough for the average person to keep track of their taxes, insurance, and wills, let alone any other important legal documents. This is next to impossible in a hoarder's home. As a result of their disorder, hoarders don't always ask for assistance when they need to find something. Extreme hoarding can cause people to lose track of vital paperwork, including court summonses. An individual with hoarding disorder may miss their court date or avoid serving on the jury as a result of their inability to find their belongings. As a result of the hoarder's untidiness, stench, or potential danger, landlords, neighbors, and homeowners associations may take legal action against the hoarder. Number 4. The hoarding is a potentially unhealthy and unhygienic behavior for the hoarder. Hoarding may appear to be no big deal from an outside perspective. It's even been used in an offhand way on occasion. As a matter of fact, the opposite is true. Developing a habit of hoarding is a serious problem that can have devastating consequences. Households plagued by hoarding issues are often unfit for human habitation. The absence of cleaning services, spoiled food, filthy restrooms, mold, and poor air quality are all possible causes. Having any of these problems is a major hygiene issue. It is not uncommon for hoarders to completely block off sections of their homes. Hoarders are known to store items anywhere they can find space, including the fridge, the freezer, the bathtub, and the shower. This might sound ridiculous to someone who isn't familiar with the situation. Number 3. Animal abuse is a common symptom of hoarding. Hoarding, as we've seen, poses health and safety risks to the hoarder. However, it poses an even greater threat to pets, no matter how harmless they may seem. Most pets, after all, have no business being outdoors. This includes consuming food and drink that could have been prepared in the same environment. This behavior is not only immoral, but it is also illegal and can carry felony penalties. Some of the things that hoarders may have to do when they mistreat animals or have too many animals are the following. A fine must be paid, leave the house, refuse to care for the animals in question, and do time in prison. Number 2. The Path from Hoarding to Homelessness Authorities or landlords can evict a hoarder once they determine the condition of their property has deteriorated to an unacceptable level. In the event that the rental unit does not adhere to the regulations of the local jurisdiction, the tenant may be evicted. Even if the hoarder is a property owner, this can happen. However, the home may be condemned. It's a last resort, and governments and landlords will typically try to avoid taking this step. However, once a hoarder has been removed from their home, it can be very challenging to find alternative housing. Those who are known hoarders are often turned away from even homeless shelters. Hoarding can have dire consequences, the worst of which is eviction. Number 1. Kids of every age are at risk in a hoarder's home. The risks of hoarding can have devastating effects on children. If it is determined that a home is unsafe, it may be necessary to remove the children living there. Children raised in a hoarding environment are more likely to develop hoarding tendencies themselves, in addition to the health risks associated with living in such a home. That is to say, offspring tend to mimic their parents' behavior patterns. This is often a good thing, but no parent wants to pass on a habit of hoarding. The influence that hoarding can have on young people is a consequence that is often overlooked. We hope you enjoyed the video, but now that it's over, what did you think? What consequence shocked you most? Leave your comments down below, and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, click subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from us in the future. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.